Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, right here we have a old, it's got to be 80s, this is an easy go limousine golf cart, or part of it. <laughs> I've had this thing for years and it's been sitting here forever. No idea if it runs, I have no idea what's wrong with it other than it missing about 80% of everything. But I believe the engine is, uh, is all there. So, um, I don't know any history on this. I got it basically for free and I was gonna turn it into a sawmill. Uh, more on that in another video. Um, but I could also make something uh, pretty cool with this thing and I had uh, future plans with it. But first I wanna see if I can get this engine running. And uh, then leave, it, uh, leave a comment what you would like this thing to be turned into. Uh, we can lift it up and put some big tires on it. Uh, make a put a couch on it or something cool. Uh, there's endless possibilities, but uh, link it down below uh, in the comments what you would like to build on this thing. So anyway, let's uh, get this thing uh, in the shed and see if we can get this engine running. It does turn over from last time I checked and carburetor and everything's there so uh yeah let's see if we can get this thing running it's missing the belt and this thing for the transmission but all that spins pretty freely so all right let's see if we can uh get this thing running We got it over here under the shed and let's check and see what we got here this is a robin engine two cylinder see much in there but looks to be pretty good let's see what the oil looks like the tiny bit of oil that it does have on it looks to be pretty clear looks like almost new oil we'll drain that anyway Get some of these spider webs cleaned off. Let's check and see if this thing has any oil in it at all. That ain't good. It's more like diesel. Did I pour diesel or gas in there? I don't know. That ain't good. 
Yeah, that is 100% gasoline. Gasoline and water and oil all mixed together. Not looking too good so far. Check out this screen. <laughs> At least there's no metal on it. I'm glad I checked the wheel. Not off to the best start. So that is full of gas. And then I got a whole nother pan under there too. And it's uh, got a little bit of oil and then some water in it. So not the best start to this. I'm going to go ahead and take some diesel and flush all that out. And maybe that will clean it out a little bit. While we're here, I'm just kind of curious what it looks like under this valve cover. Uh, well, that ain't looking too good right there. Oh man, I think this motor might be trashed. See that bolt right there? That thing is rusted over. I believe that's rust. Doesn't look good. Everything else looks good though. Maybe I can try and clean that up a little bit. Got that bolt cleaned up pretty good. Let's see what these spark plugs look like. Almost look brand new. It's not really a good sign. Don't really want brand new looking spark plugs because that means there might have been a problem beforehand. So this thing spins over pretty good and it does have good compression. I can see the tops of the pistons and they look to be pretty good from what I can see. There's not tons of carbon so it doesn't look like it was smoking. It has a little bit of carbon but like normal. It's a pretty weird engine. Um, the pistons instead of moving like at different times they both come up at the same time and both come down at the same time so that's a uh, Pretty crazy little engine here. Ew. Like any water with your oil? I ain't looking too good. It's not metal, that's like carbon it looks like. Hopefully it's not rust. Flushed out the best I could. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it back up with some oil. And then get this cover put back on. that 
Let's see if this thing will actually even spin over. Get this positive off here. And this battery might not be strong enough, but let's give it a shot. Let's give this a shot. Sweet. Spins over good. Not getting any spark, but I didn't think we would. All right, I got the uh, wire for the coil here. And we're gonna try it. Getting good spark, really good spark. You guys can see that or not. Crank it over. Nice and strong. So let's go ahead and get the, the carburetor cleaned out. See if we can get this thing fired up. Okay, guys. Uh, so to take this carburetor off, I'm gonna have to take this uh, starter generator off. And uh, so it's undoing these bolts and everything. I tried taking these studs out, but they are about to break if I try any harder. So let's just see if this thing will actually even crank first. So I have some starting fluid here. And I'm just going to go ahead and see if this thing will actually even run. <laughs> Awesome. I didn't see any smoke coming out. Yeehaw! That's awesome, man. Sweet. This thing has been sitting, I'm telling you, over 20 years. And it's been out in the rain. I actually just put a tarp over this thing um, probably a year ago. But it's been sitting forever. And I still don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it. I need a, um, a drive belt thing this clutch seems to work fine i'll need to get a belt for it but i really don't know what i'm going to do with this thing if you guys have any crazy ideas cool ideas that you want to uh, see done post in the comments and uh let me know what you would like to see this turned into because i was gonna turn it into a a bandsaw uh wood mill but uh i got some other plans for that we'll see that on a later video but anyway, um, let's go ahead and get this carburetor cleaned out and um, get a fuel tank hooked up to it. I got this fuel tank, but it's going to need cleaning most likely. I don't know if that fuel pump's any good or not, but um, we could try it. Anyway, um, so this is the throttle right here, and it does work. It's connected to this linkage right here, to this cable. And um, so that actually works. I got it disconnected, and then you got your choke right here. Um, the way the fuel pump works is you got pressure from your crankcase right here that goes into the fuel pump and then it sucks fuel and goes into the carburetor. So, um, it should run with just like a fuel tank on it though. Sweet, I didn't see any smoke coming out of this thing, so that's good. Right, let's work on getting this starter generator out so we can get the carb out. And there's our carburetor. Which almost looks like a 
cheap Chinese knockoff. But who knows? All right, let's get this thing in the ultrasonic cleaner and let it cook. Hopefully my wife doesn't watch my channel. She'll figure out where all her cooking pans have been disappearing to. Doesn't look horrible. Looks like non-ethanol gas was used, which is good. She looks pretty decent in here. Because the engine was made in Japan. It's a Robin engine. And uh, I'm sure it would have like a Kaithen or Manuki or however you want to pronounce it. Let's see if we can get some motion too bad here. Sometimes this thing can be stuck in there. I don't think that one's coming out. I might hit this with a little bit of carb cleaner before we put it in the ultrasonic cleaner. Get some of the main stuff off. So while that carburetor is cooking, let's go ahead and get this gas tank out of here and see if clean it out. Hopefully this doesn't break. Kind of goodies come out of here. Ooh, yeah. Looks like that engine would run really well on that stuff. It's like somebody peed in the gas tank. Good stuff. Very nice. Thing looks brand new. If you work on uh, if you work on engines or carburetors and you don't have an ultrasonic cleaner, I would highly recommend uh, picking one up. And you can get them pretty cheap on Amazon. Uh, I got mine at Harbor Freight, but um, if I could go back, I would get one off Amazon. One that's a little bit bigger than this one, but this one has done very well. I even made some uh, new gaskets for the carburetor here. All right. Let's go ahead and get all this put back together. Got our motion tube, main jet. gas tank cleaned out. stuff back together.
fuel gauge works. Okay, uh, I went ahead and primed this line full of gas. I think we're all hooked up, ready to go. Let's go ahead and see if this thing cranks up. All right, here we go. I haven't tried cranking it yet, so I don't know if it's gonna start or not, but let's try it. Wow, are you, are you, I can't believe it. I swear I have not cranked this thing or anything. It literally started right up. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. I'm, I cannot believe that. Oh my God, that's crazy. This thing runs awesome. No smoke at all. Wow. This thing runs great. Super quiet, man. I can't believe how quiet this thing is. Got some of the oil's burning off of there. Look how good this thing runs. See, it idles just perfectly. I'll turn the idle down just a hair. Let's see, I think it's this one right here. See how low we can get it here. Oh, cut it off. Let's start it back up here. It starts right up too. Look how good that thing runs. I cannot believe it. After sitting that long, I think the fuel pump's messed up a little bit, but uh because I don't really see it pulling much fuel in. I primed this line, so I think it's just using up the fuel on the line. So um I might have to put a new fuel pump on. But man, this thing runs great. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I, I really um, am interested in what you guys think. What I should uh, build. Um, if I should get a steering wheel and put it on there. And, and just make something crazy out of it. Or just turn it back into a golf cart. I have actually a pretty good bit of parts for this thing. Um, well, not really. More like some body parts. But um, I'll have to rig up a throttle which it does still have the throttle here, so I'll just have to run a cable. But I'll have to get it like a, some kind of steering wheel mechanism made. Um, I'll have to get the uh, thing for the belt there and a belt. But other than that, I mean, the bare bones are here. So um, I'm excited. I'm ready to uh, build something. Uh, I don't know if all these tires will hold air or not, but I believe they should. I think when I actually first got this thing, they did hold air. Um, the transmission works, the brakes work, so, um, yeah, all we need is some seats and a steering wheel and some throttle linkages, and <laughs> we'll be good to go. So I just did run it for a second, and uh, it puked out some of this stuff. I think there's still a little bit of junk uh, caught up in this engine and blocking some stuff. Let's uh, crank it back up. And it cranks right up. Let's see here. Look how good it runs. I think I'm losing ignition because I only have it wrapped around here. Okay, so whenever I turn the engine off, I hear like a slight hissing, like almost pressure still in the crankcase. And it also like blew out a bunch of like water and oil and stuff through the breather hole. So let's go ahead and take this PCB valve off and see if it's clogged up or anything. Well, I'm no expert, but I don't think it's supposed to look like that. It's pretty nasty. <laughs> oh. It's like that's where all our rust or glue pieces in the oil is coming from. 
the part of it. Okay, well that's that's not that's not too good of a sign. I might have to change the oil again. So as I was uh, running this engine and I was giving it a you know a good bit of throttle and everything, it was running great, um, running really good. But in the, at the end, it started sputtering and kind of uh, like missing a little bit, and then it just kind of cut off. And so I checked for fuel. Uh, well, first thing I checked was for spark, and I wasn't getting. I was getting a very weak spark, and then the spark just kind of went completely away. Now, look at the spark plug. I'm gonna take the the ignition wire here, and when I touch it on the post, it sparks one time, and that's it. Get a close up. See, it sparks one time and or twice at that time, and now it doesn't do it anymore. So, I'm gonna spin the engine over with this hooked up like I was doing. And before it was sparking, and now it only sparks maybe on the first one. See that? So, it does it every time I touch it on the first go, and then it stops. I think. I think the CDI or whatever you want to call that is going bad and it and it's now bad. I'm gonna go ahead and ohm out the um the coil here just to make sure. And I know the spark plugs are working because they're they're good. Um I messed around with the wiring a little bit to see if I could figure out some stuff, but I'm pretty sure this is bad. And I do believe that it is a pretty um common issue on these older carts. This is a 1992. Um, so let's go ahead and ohm out this coil and see what we see what we find here. Alright, let's go ahead and ohm out the primary side of the coil. I think spec is around three to six uh, ohms, and we are at right around five, so I think that's in spec. Let's go ahead and do the uh, secondary or wires. All right, so I am getting nothing on this, so I could have a bad coil here. I'm getting absolutely nothing. Yeah, nothing at all. You have a bad coil. Well, I think that's about all I can do on this video. Um, but it does run, and it runs really good. Um, I didn't get much video of it really running and revving, but it does, and it runs really well. I didn't see any smoke coming out except for maybe a little bit, and I think that was just burning off the WD-40 while I sprayed in the cylinders. Um, I'm going to go ahead and order a new coil and a new CDI, and also a pulley for the back uh, and a belt, so I can actually have the back wheels turning. And then I'll uh, try and rig up some kind of steering and throttle linkage and... It's got the brakes and all that works. And get all the tires filled up. I think I actually have some golf cart wheels and tires, or at least one or two of them. And if not, I can go get some for pretty cheap. I'll go ahead and get an air filter and an air box cover, and we should be good to go. Uh, this thing might be driving around. So, um, like I said in the comments, go ahead and uh, post on what you would like me uh, to do with this thing. And if there's any ideas that, you know, maybe we can uh, make a video of building and turning this thing into something cool. But uh, I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today and working on this old rusty junk. Half of a golf cart or maybe even a quarter of a golf cart. But um, yeah, so uh, y'all take care. God bless. And I will see you on the next video. Arm. You got my arm. You got my arm, buddy. <laughs> Give me that back. Give me that back.
got my arm, buddy. <laughs>